Welcome to my channel, I'm Brittany, and today I'm making a variety of holiday hot cocoa bombs. It makes sense why hot cocoa bombs are really popular these days because they're so fun to make and also fun to eat, well, drink. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a snowman, Santa suit, Rudolph, an ornament, some tangled up lights, and a marbled hot chocolate bomb. To get started, let's go over the supplies that you'll need, and remember, I always link these in the description box down below. A half sphere silicone mold, silicone cups for warming your chocolate, hot cocoa powder, some marshmallows if you want, some food safe gloves, some edible gold and silver powder, plus lemon extract for painting, candy melts in all different colors, and some parchment paper piping bags. Just click the card above to see how I make these. For the designs that I'll be doing today, I'm going to teach you three different techniques that you can use to get creative with. The first one is where you create the cocoa bomb shell first and then pipe on finishing decorations after. The second one involves piping decorations onto the mold and then creating the shell. The third one is a marbled effect where you create the design as you're creating the shell by pouring in chocolate and then pouring it out. I'm going to start with white chocolate and to meld it, I'm going to use this silicone cup. You don't wanna use glass because it can trap in heat and burn your chocolate. So I'm going to start by putting this in the microwave Actually, I want a little more. I'm going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and stir in between. So here's what it looks like after 30 seconds. It doesn't really look too much different, but I'm going to give it a little stir anyway. And then 30 more seconds. Stir it again. And you can see that it's starting to get melty. And you don't even wanna heat it until all the little pieces of chocolate are melted. You actually want to stop early and then just stir it to finish melting. And you see if I keep stirring, I might not even need to put it back in the microwave because there's only one tiny little chunk and the warm chocolate just by stirring will melt. And that's how you prevent burning your chocolate and by overheating it. So it only took 60 seconds and it's ready to go. After you melt your chocolate, you're going to grab your sphere mold. Make sure it is clean and that it doesn't have any little fuzzies or anything in it. An easy way to clean it is with a cotton ball and vodka, but if you don't have that around, hot soapy water will also work well. Just be sure to dry the cavities so that they don't have water spots. So there's many different ways you can create the shell with the chocolate in the mold, and I like to do it this way. <laughs> just put a little bit of chocolate and take a glove and just spread it with your fingers. I like this method because I can feel how much chocolate is in the mold, like how thick, I can tell how thick it is. And I also think it's just quicker and easier <laughs> to just quickly rub it around, make sure the whole mold is coated. Um, you can use a spoon or a paintbrush, but the paintbrushes are annoying because you have to be careful with getting hairs um, falling in. And also, I, the chocolate sets up and then gets stuck in the brush. So I just like doing this, and when you're finished, you just throw the glove away. <laughs> it's easy to clean up, and you don't need any other supplies. And when I'm filling this, I'm just kind of scraping the chocolate that's like on the finger up along the top edge because that part can usually get a little bit thinner than the rest. And I need four white ones for my designs. So I'll just do the first coat for four of these. Before they set up too much, it's good to scrape them clean because it gets harder once the chocolate sets up and then you can end up breaking the mold part. Okay. 
and so while the white ones start to set up, I'm going to do the first coat for these two with dark chocolate. These, this one will be the reindeer. And now I'll just quickly do a second coat on each of these. So now you just let them chill in the fridge for maybe five to 10 minutes until they're firm so that you can take them out. The bombs are chilled and ready to be taken out of the mold. To do that, you just gently press the bottom and they should come right out. It's pretty easy. Just be very careful. And I'm just going to set them on a piece of parchment paper on this sheet tray um, until I'm ready to decorate them. But before I decorate these ones, I'll show you the piping technique and the other technique. So I'll wash the mold and then do some piping. Okay, so I'm going to start with a white piping bag and what's going to become my ornament. And I'm just going to like put a little bit of markers so that I can section everything out. I'm marking the middle because I want a line to go across. The bomb like this and then next I want to divide the half that's left into thirds and they're not going to end up being perfect <laughs> because I'm just eyeballing it but they'll be close enough so basically I'm going to do a curve from here this will be the biggest part of the curve and starting at this same one. So I'm just going to start in the center and curve it up to this point. Like that. And the same with this side. And the lines don't have to be perfect because I'm actually going to pipe, um, pipe over these when I take them out of the mold. These are just to like mark my sections. And then inside this, I'm going to do some decoration, some dots with the white. So I'm going to do a really big white dot like this and then gradually get smaller
like that. And then I'm going to do that in every other section. So not the one right next to it, but the next one. And then this top one. So now you might be starting to see what, uh, where I'm going with this, what the design of the ornament is going to kind of end up looking like. And then one more on this one. Okay, so this one is done with the white anyway. And I'll do the other one because we need two for each sphere. Okay, those two are almost done, but while I still have the white out, I'm going to do the Santa suit. So this one is going to be top to bottom when I glue it, the design is. So this edge is going to be the belt. So I'm going to do like the like white trim, but like halfway below the belt. So I'm going to just like mark it so that it goes all the way around evenly or as evenly as I can. And I'm basically just going to pipe little like fluffs, <laughs> like little clouds. Just so it kind of looks like the fluffy white trim around the bottom of his coat. Like that. And then on just one side that will be like the front of the coat with buttons, I'm just going to add the trim up to the top edge. Like that. And then this other half is going to be the top half of the belt, so the top half of the coat. I'm kind of just going to do the part that will line up with that trim. I do the same, like fluffy white trim. And then I'm kind of just gonna do a collar. I'm just going to do a little opening like where his head would go. <laughs> that's gonna be the top of the bomb, but that's not really like the main point of this one, because this one will sit with the belt up. That's like the design of it. So that's finished. Now to finish off the ornaments, I just need to pipe a bit of red. These are going to be the background of the, the dot sections are going to be red. The background of the other sections are going to be green. So I just need to finish these by only filling in the sections with the dots with red. Okay, so once those are filled in, now it's time to take these four and fill them and finish the shells just like the other ones. So while I was melting my green chocolate, I just put these in the fridge so this piped chocolate can set up. And now I just create the shells like I did with the other ones by putting the background color and I'm going to do it the exact same way by just pushing it around with a glove and because this one has quite a bit of chocolate, I'll probably just do 
one coat as long as I make sure to fill in the missing parts of the mold with the green. And you just do it like that, the exact same. Once the designs are piped in, the process is the same. And then I'll fill in the Santa suit the exact same way, but with red. Now these two get a quick second coat because they didn't have as much piped chocolate, so they're a little bit thinner. And into the fridge to chill. <laughs> okay, I'm excited to see how these came out. Ah! Oh, cute! Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I'm so excited for the ornament. It's going to also have either gold or silver. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna cover up the white lines. Let's see our Santa suit. So this is going to be the bottom like that. And the top is like this. Okay, now the last one is the marbled one. So to create the marbled effect, I need to do a little layered chocolate thing here. I start with white and I'm going to just drizzle in some red. And then another little layer of white on top. and then drizzle some green. And then more white. And now I'm just going to take the layered chocolate and pour some into one and the rest into the other. And swirl it to make sure it covers every part of the mold. And once all the mold is covered, I'm just going to tip out the extra chocolate. And that'll be our first coat for the marbled. Now once it's set up enough to not be dripping anymore, I'll just clean the edge. And then let this set up before I do a second coat. Now I'll just do a quick second coat for these ones with white. And into the fridge. This one is very green. Now that all the shells are finished, I'm going to grab all the supplies I need to fill them and glue them together, and then grab some piping bags and finish the final decorations. All right, so I've set up a little station to fill and glue the bombs together. This pan has been in the oven at the lowest setting just to warm up just enough to melt the bombs a little bit. So to fill them, I take the first half and get it a little bit melty on the pan. Then set it right here, upside down. And then I'm going to take whatever flavor of hot cocoa mix in there and fill it up to your liking. Add marshmallows if you want. And then get the second half melty. You wanna leave it on the pan until there's no gaps and then place it on top and then line it up 
and you can give a little wipe with your finger to make sure it's nice and clean. And that's how you put together the bomb. Now with this one, I just have to make sure I'm lining up the centers and also that I'm um, putting the green against the red and the red against the green to keep the pattern consistent. And then that these are in line, the top and bottom. One thing I need to do real quick before I can finish decorating is pipe a couple decorations onto a piece of parchment to set up to glue on the bombs later. The first thing I'm going to pipe are some little antlers for the reindeer. And then I need to create the top for the ornament. With a little loop. And the last thing is some little earmuffs for the snowman.
Here are the Finnish holiday hot cocoa bombs. Be sure to let me know in the comments which design is your favorite. Let me know if you liked this video and found it helpful by giving it a like down below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet today's the day and if you'd like to see some more holiday baking videos just click on one of these thumbnails thank you so much for watching today i'll see you soon bye